Uh, you know what I was thinking about? I think you might, you know that, according to the British mentality, this weather is not too bad. She was in boxes, she was on frame, and I literally came in the room and I went, and then I came in and I like, as I'm talking to people, I realized that so, they didn't even order. Do you mind saying what each wall represents? Represents? Yeah. Um, I think the early edition, this, this wall here, the limited editions, it was me observing the world. I was seeing it. I was walking around a lot, I was a bit lost, I was a bit confused, I just left university, I didn't have much purpose, I didn't have much direction, I knew I wanted to be creative but I didn't know in what capacity, I wanted to be creative. And I was taking the pictures, I didn't realise I was taking the pictures, the smaller ones, especially not the larger ones, the smaller ones. And then uh, as I started going around, like that little room in there, the drawings and things, that started happening so after that point I started focusing a little bit more I started in Brick Lane in the markets and I started selling stuff in the markets I started calling myself an artist for the first time you know 2010-11 and these are the more like sort of detailed work I, I went inwards rather than being outwards I went inwards right and I went to sort of start reflecting and this is what this is all about and then you sort of come into like this wall here, which is the collage stuff. So the collage stuff that started happening probably about the same time as the drawings and it, that's progressed even more. So I'm now using the, last, the past experiences and I'm bringing them more into the present. So limited editions that were produced in 2011 are becoming adjusted now colors and lines and forms and they're becoming more into the present so again i'm using that past experiences with the new experiences and i'm joining them all into the present okay and then here we have the art conversation project which is probably the most uh, recent project and the one that's been going the nice well it's been the most rewarding in a lot of ways not just uh, the material but also like spiritual i think talking to people learning about them you know, I've spoken to like hundreds and hundreds of people in the last few months from everywhere in the world. They talk to you about everything. They give you so much and you learn all of this stuff and you relate to them. You know, you have to find where they are on that scale of society because society is like that and humanity is like that. So it's sort of like that and you have to find where they are and you have to open yourself up to them. And you learn, you know, and then you create a written piece of work specific to them. And again, I've been doing this kind of thing when I started in the markets in Brick Lane in 2011. I've always been somebody who's just talked to people anyway. I never really like went out of my way to sell stuff to people. It was always just that, hello, how are you? Who are you? What do you do? Where are you going? Why? You know, all of this sort of stuff. And then that project started happening when I came back from Berlin. Because I've been in Berlin for the last two years. And this is where a lot of this development that you see on these walls here yeah. started happening. Because it was the first time I had a studio. Before I didn't have the space to work. And then I had the space to work. Yeah. Then I had the space to work. I really learned a lot in two years because I was surrounded by artistic people and all of these things. It, it, it rubs off on you in a way, in a way yeah, when, you, when you're surrounded you know, by your people. Life experience, that's why I tell you to go out and have good life experiences because it's going to make you a better person. You know, yeah. You're going to go out, you're going to have bad life experiences, it's going to make you a, well, hopefully it's not going to make you a worse person, but you know, the forces of nature are like that. You can't be involved in evil for too long until you actually become evil. You need to kind of keep that balance. Then in the corner there, I forgot to mention that project, which is the black and white typography. This is also something which is uh, uh, quite current as well. And this black and white typography stuff, like this stuff is more personal for the people. You know, it goes to their homes. You know, yeah. it's more reflective for them as an individual. Whereas these black and white typography, this is part of my graffiti stuff now. Because I started going to the streets now. Because again, if you're having a conversation with people, you need to be able to talk to everybody from all types of life. You know, and some people go to galleries, and some people don't go to galleries, and some people go other places, and some people don't go anywhere, some people just go to work and go home, and da 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 da. But this information it goes out onto the streets, you know, just go out there, put it out there in like local areas, you know, not thinking too much that like, you know the tourists they need different information, 
you know, the Londoners, the people who live here, they need different information, you know, because the concerns are different, the solutions are different, so you need to talk to them in a different way. So again, like, this stuff is kind of happening as well at the moment. And then you sort of move around into like the more current work, which is just really joining everything together. So it's joining the, the use of materials, the use of like the typography, the painting, the three dimensions as well, because I'm going to three dimensions now as well. I'm making furniture as well, I'm making jewelry, I'm doing like all these things. Like somebody was throwing this roll of paper away. Okay. So it's like, okay, what can we make from this roll of paper? So it's gone around the room, it went up there, it went there, it went there, it went there, it went there. It's changing around all the time. But you know, something like this, you could easily put like a little light in there, run a wire right there, that would make a beautiful light. But then as I'm using it to wrap pictures, you know, eventually it will disappear, it won't become a light anymore, it will just cease to exist. And then you just have the light bulb at the end of it. And you know, that becomes an installation, but that was rubbish. And that becomes something now, you know, it becomes useful for someone or something. And you, you know, you can. It's, it's, it's in the meantime, while I'm waiting to put the light bulb in there, because you know I'm thinking about a lot of other things as well, I don't really necessarily have the time now to actually think, okay, I need a light bulb, let me go get a light bulb, let me do other things. So for the moment, it can be a table, you know, you can use it as a table, which is the right height, isn't it? You know, people can stand around this, the heater is right here, you know, and again, that like, everything in the room is as it should be, nothing is where it shouldn't be. It looks haphazard, but it's not. Yeah. There's so much secret information in this room that I've put in there that you won't even see. But it's just for me. And I don't necessarily do it. I do do it for the people now. But it wasn't like, well, not in that way, I don't necessarily now. But it's, you know, it's for the people. But first of all, I do it for myself. Because generally, the words you say, if I'm talking to you, that I had a wise man come and talk to us one day when I was on like some trip or something. He says, my ears are a lot closer to my mouth than yours are to my mouth. So whatever I'm saying to you, I'm saying to myself first. And it's the same with the work. The work is genuinely a reflection of the life that I'm living. Because you can only really speak to people from your own life experiences. You can't, I can't give somebody your life experience. I can, but only if there are certain stipulations involved. But the, my experience is going to be the most genuine. Which is also why you have to be careful when you listen to people. Because some people have very negative experiences of things and they can push that onto you. And you take that away with you. And you have to be sort of conscious enough to be able to make the right decisions. To kind of protect yourself from the energies, the negative energies, so to speak. But you can't let that stop you from all the positivity. Because if you start putting that barriers, then you're going to lose some of that positivity too. Which is why you have to really open yourself up and keep yourself open. Which is why... In hindsight, when you look back at some of these like great people, you know, I don't want to liken myself to them, but that's why they had such disastrous ends because they opened themselves up so much to the people that the people thought that they were theirs to do whatever they wanted with. But you have to be careful, yeah. you know, you have to know where you stand, you have to be conscious. Fortunately for me, you know, I have the Lord, you know. That came with time as well, you know, I wasn't always conscious of the Lord either, but that came with time. And it comes and it goes, and it's a story. Alright, so thank you very much for your time. I didn't really be the one who just talked to people anyway. People yeah. used to come to my store, and I never used to try and sell them anything. It was just chatting to them, like, hello, how are you, who are you, what are you doing? Da, 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 da. And then, when I was in the studio in Berlin, because I was a little bit further away from everyone and everything, like I was living in the forest, by a river and a bit of bohemian life, I wasn't seeing the world as I once was. And I started listening to people and I was like, don't you realize what you just said? And from there I started writing sort of these quotes, like these things for people. Because I was, I was always doing it for myself with the notebooks, right. but I was never really sort of translating it for other people in sort of their information. And this has just been growing, 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 growing. But that project's been going really well for me. It allowed me to put a deposit down on this place. Oh, really? Yeah. So, you know, I'm literally like, I, I just pay my rent this morning. I don't have any money. Ah. But it's like, I'm literally living like that. Like, I don't know how I'm going to pay next week's rent. But it's like, I learned, I'm learning these lessons as I go through life. Like, living by the city of pumps. Literally, but it's so exciting. Yeah. It's so exciting. You wake up every day. So you, know, more, you know Mondays, eh? How are you on Mondays? Monday. I'm like, Monday! Let's go! 
Like, what are we gonna make this week? Like, all I really wanted right, okay. is just a space to work. And that's what anybody really wants a space to yeah, work. Yeah. Having family, space that's yours. Yeah. muscles for a little bit and shake that candle. Yeah, do some exercise. You know, your legs are getting enough exercise. What about your arms? You need to like get some bags in your arms or something. The shop is called experimental. And this is the whole point of it. It's the journey of man and the experiments that go along with it. I get it. So this is the kind of thing that I'm building. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's called art, but it's not, it's called life. Don't forget to say hello to people. So how long have you been here? Uh, since the beginning of January. Okay. So now what, we're in the middle of February now? Yeah. And, well, what do you do? What do I do? I, I react. I observe. I observe, I listen, I use the senses that we have and then I just react. And I can react in many different ways. It's not just one way, it's many ways because life is broad. You can't do with everything in the same scenario. You have to be different. So again, that, that's all I'm really doing. You know? And fortunately for me, fortunately, I have, I have and I'm still accumulating a wealth of sort of experience, not just my own but other people's too, which you sort of take in from conversation project and da 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 to sort of give back to react from because you can't just react you need to react with knowledge you can't just react in ignorance because if you react in ignorance then whatever happens after that it's going to be ignorant you have to do it with wisdom you have to do it with real knowledge and that's kind of what I'm trying to work with at the moment, at the moment. Life? Where are you going? And why are you doing it? It's the big question, you know? Take it easy, guys.
by Foley is crap. So, especially because I drive a scooter to get here. So, uh, I tell you, I look like I'm a snowboarder when I'm driving, which I'm so right. Uh, but, uh, I want to play this song that reminds me like sun, blue skies, hot weather, and whatever. The kind of stuff.